Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Quest for Creative. A uh, little update before we get into today's episode. Uh, we have a potential name for the this monstrosity here. Um, Space Gator suggests, uh, let's see if I pronounce this right, Chicken Sizura? Shizura? Chicken Sizura. Something like that. It's Japanese for Chicken Sizzler. Which is interesting. It's a, it's a interesting name. I'll have to think about it. Um, on that note, I want to let you guys know that uh, it does work while I'm offline. It's incredibly slow, but that's perfectly fine. That's it's okay. Uh, to make it faster, all we need to do is add more chickens. But I don't go through chicken that fast, and slow is good enough for me. Plus... Feathers seem to be way the hell faster. Like, in this mod pack, the chickens drop a buttload of feathers. It's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Treebeard is still here. The server has been rebooted at least twice since I put him in the, in the, in the glass. Hi, Treebeard. He is not pleased that he's in there, but... <laughs> hey, you tried to kill me, you're in jail. Tempted murder, damn it. Uh, that's what, 35 years? I have no idea. <laughs> but yes, uh, I named him. I actually made a name tag and named him Treebeard. So he has a name. That's why he's still sticking around. He hasn't despawned or anything like that. Uh, let's see. The Smithy, Mark III, I've been using the hell out of. And it's working pretty good. I'm really, really, really glad I made it. Because it's just so much faster than screwing around with just individual fer fern eye. Uh, I, cr I did create a smeltery, uh, and I've been working with it a little bit. I had plans for it to, to do... Th I had plans to do things with it today, but as I was preparing for, th for them, because it's going to be a complicated build, what I have planned for the smeltery... It's going to be a really, really complicated build. So while I was gathering up all the pieces I need and putting things together into their base elements, uh, I realized I need other things that, you know, I just need. I need a, 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 a zombie flesh. That's the word I was looking for. I need zombie flesh and I need bones because I need bone meal uh, because I need rubber from mine factory reloaded and i don't have that many rubber saplings so i mean just sitting here and waiting for them to grow and then cut them down it, it would just take forever yes i know i could just wait till it gets dark and then i can go hunting but you know what i'm too damn lazy for that so what i'm going to do today i'm going to make a giant spawner uh i don't know if this will work but that's half the point of what we're doing here is to see if things will work. Um, so I need a buttload of stone. I'm going to start here. Um, wait, is this going to work? Hang on, hang on. This is going to be the wall. So that'll be a corner of our wall here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I wanted one more. Means I'm going to need some more dirt, aren't I? Well, no. This, this little dirt will work. Boop. Yeah, that worked perfectly. All right, so um, so this comes out seven. So what I'm going to do, this is my idea. I'm going to put water here, let it flow seven blocks, and then out to here, and then drop down, and then flow another eight blocks, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay. And uh, then I have this really, really just ginormous freaking spawner to play with and then down here will be the catch basin which is gonna be pretty huge i love my new shovel <laughs> uh i enchant i don't know if i had did i have this shovel in the last episode i don't remember actually um but yeah this is gonna be a giant freaking thing so uh one two three four five six seven eight Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this far out, uh, right here, 
I want 16 on the inside. Like I said, I don't know how well this is going to work. I've never done this before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and no, seven, and then drop. Oh. Okay, so I should do this, um, and then drop it here, and then it's going to be seven and drop, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven and drop, and then it's going to keep flowing off in this direction up until eight. Oh, but I'm doing it wrong here as well, aren't I? Crap. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one more. Will this work? Yes, this will work. This will work. Oh, I'm not a bat. I want to be a bat. I want to fly. Woo, fly. Okay. All right, so the general idea is I'm going to have this really, really large spawner. So I could put a whole bunch of spawners inside of it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one. Perfect. Um, so I, yeah, so I can uh, go with a lot or a very large number of spawners and a lot of mobs. Um, like I said in the last episode, I think it was, uh, there is a zombie spawner in there, there's a skeleton spawner right there, and there's a witch spawner right there, and then there's another burning man. I don't know what it is, probably zombie, but there's another burning man right over there, so I'm at least going to have four in here. Um, yeah, so where am I going to put them? I'm going to put them about as dead center as I can get it. Somewhere around there? Is that? I think we have an odd number. Yes, we have an odd number. So we're going to get as close to dead center as we can get it. And right there will work. And then what I'll do, I'll put the spawners there. All four of them just lined up here. And then I can put like four more spawners behind it and four more spawners over here. That kind of thing. So I can have a whole bunch of spawners with a whole bunch of different types of mobs. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, they should spawn. I mean, even if I'm over at the smithy, they should spawn, right? In theory? Hmm. This may be a mistake. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, this may also be a mistake making him go that way. I might want to make him go that way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make him go the other way. Pop, pop. Boop, boop. Yeah, that way they can come out this side closer to where I'll be more often. That way um, the spawn rates will be better, I guess. Or they won't magically disappear. Where did my shovel go? Oh, it's still in my inventory. I didn't see it. I fell down a hole. That's quite common. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then wall. Perfect. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So right now you guys get the general idea. I'm basically to build giant wall around here. Uh, so I am going to quickly cut to the next part. No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to leave this open for the most part to just set up basically like this. Bloop. Oh, and it's getting dark already? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so now we got the general idea. Uh, I need water. I need more space for water. Boop, boop. And I have two buckets of water on me. That's good. Um, ooh, this way. Okay, so first things first. Let's make an infinite spring. Bloop, bloop. Okay. See? Perfect. Bullseye. And then I'll put water here, and this will go down, and this will go down here, and it will stop everything here. Oh, Shit, this isn't going to work, is it? F 
fuck nuggets. Um, see, the problem here is that I'll put a water block there and a water block there. But I have to find some way to hold it in. Um, like, uh, uh, what I would normally do, I would put a block here and then a sign there. And then it would they would pull it through. They would go into this water block because they'd be too tall. And then they would push up from this water block and then get, catch this water block. And they wouldn't be able to go out because this block is here. But if I have that block there, mobs will come in and they'll get stuck here. All right, we're going to put a sign here and then a source block there and see if I can do that right. They don't have to travel far. They just, like, I'm not taking them up far. Hmm. Am I even going to bother taking them up at all? Like, I don't have to. I shall think about that. Hmm. Because the idea isn't that I'm going to make an XP grinder. The idea is that I'm going to get stuff out of it. This is going to be one of the uh, sources of infinite things. Yeah, that should work out perfectly. The only reason that this is grass here is because I have these blocks here. Um, once I pull them out. Actually, I can do that right now. Yeah, see, there we go. Now it's perfect. Light this up real quick. Just light up the entire area, because I don't want to be dealing with mobs randomly spawning here. I mean, there's going to be mobs ran spawning outside, but I don't want to deal with the mobs spawning while I'm working, and I'm out of torches. I think I have torches in here. Yes, I do. I have spare torches. Let's take a quick nap. I freaking love the sleeping bag. I'm so glad I have it. Sleep. No, I don't actually snore when I sleep. I don't know. I mean, I know why I take off the chest piece because the sleeping bag is used as a chest piece, but I have no idea why they decided to program it that way. I'm not I'm not sure. All right, so let us grab the components we need. And this is going to be complicated and annoying. I need to put away the smooth stone because I'm totally out of space right now. I'll just jam it back in here for right now. Boop. All right. Yeah, that's still cooking. I'm getting a little bit of frame lag when that thing runs. <laughs> oh, this, is, this whole area is going to be so freaking laggy when I'm done with it. It's going to be amazing. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Um, as far as I know of, with random things, you cannot pick up the block teleporter without silk touch. You can't. Um, so we are going to have to skip to the second thing I was going to do today, which is actually play with Tinker's Construct. Um I was actually planning on making a sword with Tinker's Construct because there is there's more to um, there's more to creative mode than just having an infinite source of things. Uh, it's the flying aspect, which yeah, okay, I can do with a bat, but I can do better. But I'll fiddle with that later. Um, then there is the mining and. Well, I was about to say damage, but when you're in creative mode and you punch something, you just do the same amount of damage as if you normally punch them. So I'm going to kick this up a notch, and I want to create a sword that's a one-hit kill. Now, I've already done this. I know how to do this. Uh, but I uh, let's work on something that I need to work on, and what I need to work on is is a pickaxe. I need a silk touch pickaxe. Now I could go level up and uh, try to enchant something with silk touch. Too much of a pain in the ass. I can grab 
these guys, yeah, these ingots that I can't pronounce, and probably other things. Let's see, what else do I have? I have cobalt. Um, I want paper. I have plans, in case you can't tell. Uh, no, paper. Yeah. The sugar cane goes in here. Oop. That goes there. Bloop. Yeah, everything all kinds of messed up in my inventory right now. Okay, so now I have plenty of paper. Uh, put you down in the tinker's chest for right now. I'll throw you guys in so you can cook. What else do I want to make this thing out of? Let's throw some, some obsidian in there. Uh, yeah, four obsidian, that'll work perfect. So anyways, what I need to do is make a pickaxe that has the abilities of Silk Touch. Um, now, I've already created a... Well, as you can tell, I've been playing with Tinker's Construct because I have the knapsack, uh, this guy here. And that's the main thing I make. That's the first thing I make with Tinker's Construct is a fracking knapsack. Is because this is just far too useful. Having a second inventory is just far, far too useful. And while I use the red, uh, the 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 project red backpacks, they're glitchy. It, it's hard to put things in them and take things out of them every now and then. And yeah, they're glitchy. But uh, I did make a pickaxe already. Uh, is an al alumite pickaxe, and I used it to uh, get cobble or no cobalt. Cobalt and Adrite from the Nether, because that's how you make we uh, these guys the mini yeah that thing the minilium manilium manilian manilian I'm not good at pronouncing things yeah uh, so that's how you make them because you combine those two uh, and manilian is the highest level of anything. How many do I need? I need one for the pickaxe head. That's good. And I need one for my sword blade. That's good, too. Oh, I've got more than enough. Nice. Okay, so I need my pickaxe head. Uh, I'm going to use, yeah, the tool rod. The pickaxe head is going to be my nelium, which will make it the highest level pickaxe I can make. The tool rod will be made out of obsidian which is really high in durability, though I think there's something higher durability. Um, hang on, I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to quickly look at the list that just happens to be behind this window right here. One second. I'm back. Okay, uh, so my Nilium has the highest uh, durability and has the highest modifier. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the modifiers do, but that's what I'm going to roll with. Um, so... Minelium has the highest mining speed, and Minelium has the highest uh, durability. So I'm going to roll with that, and that's that's how I'm going to get my pickaxe head and the tool rod. Pink. Alrighty, but that's not how I'm going to get the binder. Um, this guy, the tool binding. I'm actually going to use paper which is yeah there we go okay and the paper what happens when you use the paper it doesn't really give you anything really useful as an attribute except for the fact that it's writable a writable tool and that gives you one extra modifier and i'm going to need the modifiers uh let's see pickaxe pickaxe head tool rod binding so that gives me four modifiers instead of three. Uh, we get a base mining speed of nine and a durability of 3,000. Holy shite. That's actually quite impressive. Ooh, and that's a pretty pickaxe. Look at that thing. It is pretty. I like that color. I really do. Um, okay, so we have a base mining speed of nine. And what I'm going to do... Let's see. We need silk touch, so I need a silky... All right, so I need a silky jewel, 
and that means I need silky cloth, which I need 32 string and an aluminum brass ingot or an aluminum brass nugget. Now, I have aluminum brass. No, that's electrium. Uh, there we go. Aluminum brass. Boink. 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 Okay. And now I need string. How much string do I have? Do I have enough? Fuck. I do not have enough string. Crap, 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 crap. I only have 20 string. Um... Can I make this out of anything? What the hell? Oh! All right, ooh, cotton. I could also make a wool gin, but that's a pain in the ass. Ooh, I could throw it in a pulverizer. There we go, and I have wool. I don't have a lot of wool, but I have wool. That should give me enough. Oh shit, but I don't have my pulverizer up. Oy. Such a giant pain in the butt. All right, so pulverizer. This just needs to run quickly, so I'm not gonna set this up full force. Yes, in case you're curious, I was actually planning on using uh, the pulverize the 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 uh, thermal expansion, the thermal expansion stuff today. But like I said, I need other things first. All right, that should be enough for me. Uh, I need something cook or something to cook with, some solid fuel, which there's some right there. Plop. Uh, so I have to improvise these things. Now we have power, so let's throw some wool in there. What is this? I don't know what that is. But that gives me string, that gives me 24. Ooh, I can get bone meal from that. Hmm. 28. 32. Perfect, because I need 32. It's time to go to sleep already. Hmm. All right, because I need four of those. Very nice, very nice. Uh, back, or sleeping bag. Just do this really quick. I've noticed that when you use the sleeping bag, you always face north, or at least I do. I don't know if that's a universal thing, but I know I do. All right, now I need an emerald, which I believe I have a few of. Yes, I do. All this just to get silk touch. All right, so wait, this way. I got lost. I somehow got lost heading to my tools. All right, so we put the pickaxe here. We put the silky jewel in. This gives me silk touch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, I need four more cobblestone. Yes, I know I have a locker completely full of cobblestone, but I have everything else completely full of cobblestone as well. I just have so much cobblestone, it's insane. Boop. Okay, so if we do that and then do that. Oh, I suddenly dawned on me I need nine, not eight. You might be confused as to what I'm doing, but I do have a method to my madness. And it is this, a uh, ball of moss. Okay. And then what else do I need? What else do I want on here? I want redstone, which I have a bunch and bunch and bunch of redstone. Ooh, I've got mail. Eh, projects. Anyways, okay, so put in our pickaxe. We take our ball of moss and put that in, and that will give us an auto-repair pickaxe. This will heal itself, which is really useful. And then we'll put in our silky jewel, which will give us our silk touch. And then I am actually going to cheat and use the Tinker's Table. You can do this if you have the Tinker's Table uh, right beside the Tool Forge, where you can actually forge your tools like this, and it's significantly faster to do it this way. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that because it breaks. All right. Uh, I found that if you put in redstone, like just all eight, eight redstone blocks right off the bat, and you get 75 out of 50, it breaks Tinker's Construct. You cannot kick it up to the next level of redstone. And redstone adds haste. Um, yeah, so it, it increases your mining speed. So my mining speed now is 9.6 instead of the base 9. And then I can keep going, which I'm going to keep going in here because I don't want to overflow this. I want to get to 50. 49, 50. All right, and then I can go and go again. Now I can get up to 100. I wouldn't be able to do that if I just did the eight redstone blocks. Boop, 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 boop. So that gives me 95 out of 100, and this gives me haste two. Or, well, it will give me haste two once I kick it up the whole way. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Can you tell I've done this a lot? All right, now, so now we have haste two. Our mining speed is 14, where our base was nine. Uh, we got silk touch, and we've got auto repair. So this is a fairly nice pickaxe. I've lost the beautiful Keller, though. I'm a little disappointed, but you know what? That's what I have to do. All right, and then that gives us our silk touch so I can properly use the block teleporters over and over and over again. Uh, let's see, let's put you back. Boop. All right. So now let's set up our block teleporters. Such a giant pain in the butt. All right, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I want to start here. Boop. And then, let's see, you get the target card. So you need two block teleporters and the target card. You hold shift, you right click on the block teleporter, and that sets a position. All right, and then we go over to our first spawner that we want to use, which will be right here, which is a nice zombie spawner. We take our block teleporter and we put it there. And the black part has to be facing where you're pulling the block from and over there where you're putting the block to. Uh, then we just take our target card, we go boink, and it's gone. And now it's over there. We can see it over there. Cool. One. And then we take our silk touch, which I'm getting rid of that. And then I pop it. And then I got my block teleporter back. Woohoo! Uh, I'm glad I thought about that because I've lost teleporters to that before. All right, so we pop another one. Bloop. Bloop. And then you, when you do this, you have to put the teleport, or you have to shift right click with the teleport card again. Oh, look, it's a baby zombie spawner. Cool. <laughs> no, I don't think it's only going to spawn baby zombies, but still, it's cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, you got to shift right click on the target card on the for the block teleporter's new location, or it won't work. All right, so let's go over there and do the same thing. And then we'll end up with, I'm fairly sure it's a skeleton spawner. I hope it's a skeleton spawner. I'll be pissed if it's not. Oof. Yes, skeleton spawner, perfect. All righty. Plop. Boink. Poof. It's gone. Yay. Yeah, what's really annoying, uh, the block teleporters will actually pop in one hit. So if you have the wrong pickaxe and you pop it, you're screwed. <laughs> you just lost your block teleporter. And they're not exactly cheap to make. You need uh, ender pearls to do it. And it kind of sucks. Alrighty, and then we need our target card again. And then from here, you basically get the point. Uh, I'm going to go over there and get the witch spawner, and then I'm going to go over there and get whatever spawner is back there, and I will come back to you guys. 
Okay, I'm back. And guess what I found? Um, yeah. Turns out, under the, uh, Stonehenge type things over there with the witches that spawn randomly, there are two witch spawners. So now I have five spawners. I got two zombies, a skeleton, and two witches. I don't know if I was hoping for two zombies or two skeletons, but eh, whatever. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to do this a little bit slightly different. I'm not going to go up and over and down. I'm just going to go down. So basically, I'll just dig down a ways. That'll do. And then I'll dig out this area here a bit. And then this will be the landing pad. So where all the mobs land. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, so the general idea is I don't want to kill them on the fall. Uh, I have a trick. I have a ploy to kill them uh, later on. Yeah. I'm just waiting until I'm done pickaxing all this stuff so I can actually do what I'm planning on doing. Okay, so from here I need to cut down here and across. So I need a hopper a chest, and a whole bunch of item ducts. Uh, I have no hoppers, but I do have chests. That's fine. I have iron. I'm trying to hurry up so I can start talking again. All right, so hopper, chest, uh, I need... I don't have them in here. Do I not have spare? I must not have spare. Crap. Well, then I'm gonna have to steal some from over here, because I don't have enough. Ow. Uh, pickaxe? No, probably just a regular axe, huh? These guys are punji sticks. And you can use them to kill things. Basically, when things stand on them, they take damage, and they actually uh, go... They, they have the, the slow attribute. Now, here's the idea. One, two... Wait, what? Ow, ow. Ah. No. You bastard. You can't? Or is it that I can't hear? Yeah, I can do that. You bastards. You're not going to let me... Oh, there we go. I was holding shift so I didn't get into the hopper. And you can't do that if you're holding shift. Okay. So the general idea is that uh, one punji sticks will hurt. Five punji sticks will hurt more. Um, I am going to dig myself another hole on the outside here just so I can get down. Pickaxe, thank you. Oops, too far. Eh, I need to do that anyways. Uh, because I forgot everything else. All right, so put that there, put that there, that there, that there. Okay, so now they will fall, they will land on the punji sticks, they will get hurt. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And when they die, all their... Stuff falls into the hopper, which goes into the chest, which will go into item ducts. Come on, item ducts, item ducts, item ducts. And then into our collection of buttloads of stuff. At least that's the general idea. Oh, I need a uh, pneumatic something or other, whatever they're called. These guys, the pneumatic servos. And where's my wrench? Right there. All right. Put you away. Oh, the crescent hammer, not the wrench. 
I don't know why it's a hammer. It's It doesn't hammer anything, but eh, whatever. All right, so that goes there. We want you on, and then we want you pointing that way, and then basically, boop. Boop, 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 boop. And what I'm going to do for right now, uh, I'm just going to put a couple of chests here. That way, uh, once I fire this thing up, I'll know what, how many lockers and what they need to be. Uh, then I can, you know, do my thing. Oop, not there. Come on. Okay. All right, so everything will end up in this large chest here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish off this room. And what you want to do, if you're making this, uh, underneath the spawners, always leave two, two blocks height. That way that uh, if they spawn on this side of the hop or a spawner, they can go under the hop spawner. And then this is going to sound a little weird, but always leave one space above the spawner and then your roof. Because when they spawn, they spawn like this. So like their feet are on the level of the spawner and then their heads are here. Um, they, they can spawn further down, but you actually get better spawn rates if you leave one block above the spawners all right so i'm going to start that um and i will come back when that's finished because this is going to take a bit of time yeah so i shall be right back once again and a few more torches and then we need to get the hell out of here <laughs> Because they spawned fast. I already got hit by a freaking witch. Oh, violent, violent things. Okay, so I hear zombies. Let us dig our way down and see what's going on. I hear the punji sticks doing their thing. Whoop. Oh. Okay, so that answers that question. We should probably... Um, uh, blah, blah. Put blocks on the front. I kind of want to leave it open so I could just pop the punchy sticks and punch anything. So I could make it a grinder. But, uh, no. Hmm. Oh, right. That's not going to work this far underground. Um, it will only work if you're up here. So this won't work as a spawner anyway. So close that off. And there we go. It, it just does its thing. <laughs> Simple as that. Alrighty, so all I have to do... I already got sugar. Oh, there are my torches. Uh, we got a bone. Sugar, rotten flesh. And now it's just a matter of time. A matter of just sitting here and waiting for the chest to fill up. Let's see what we need. Um, so, tomorrow, well, the next episode, whenever that may be, I am going to continue what I was planning on doing, um, and that's combining, uh, Mind Factory Reloaded, Thermal Expansion, and Tinker's Construct to do something not really cool, but useful. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna light the hell out of this place. And I will say to you guys, see you in the next episode. It's gonna be an it's gonna be a fun one. It's one you don't want to miss because while the end outcome is not really all that exciting, what I'm going to be building tomorrow is gonna be the base of a whole crapload of other things I build. So don't miss it. It's gonna be an important one. So I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.